now I'm thinking about sex and I'm wondering why nature has made the pursuit of sex for a man so important in life. Why did nature make sex so pleasurable, so desirable for men, such that men would devote the last part of their lives to pursuing sex? Because I'm thinking that nature didn't have to make sex so pleasurable. It could have made sex functional, like brushing your teeth or something. Sex doesn't need to be so desirable in life. But instead, nature chose to make it highly desirable and wanted men to crave sex, basically. Now, I don't know how women view sex in terms of pleasure. I don't know if it's exactly the same way that men desire sex or to differences. It's not something I've thought about very much and I have no real way of getting the groups of it. But initially I'm thinking that they desire it a lot. So I'm regarding women's desire for sex as being the same as men's desire for sex. So it comes back to the question of why nature made sex so highly desirable. I'm wondering that if sex was not so pleasurable, if sex was just a functional activity with no pleasure associated with it at all, just an action to perform to create children. So if, it's, if sex was just like that, would there not be enough children born because in other words, is it the case that um, many children are born unintentionally and they come about because of sex and a certain amount of sex may need to happen in order to produce enough children. And it seems that it's desirable so that pregnancy would happen even if unintended. So it seems as if nature wanted men to pursue sex so that men would have enough sex such that children would be created whether they're intended or not. So that's why nature has made sex so pleasurable. It is interesting to wonder what the birth rate would be if sex was just functional, with no pleasure associated with it. It is interesting to wonder how the birth rate would be affected and is it the case that um, lots of children who were conceived were not intended? I don't know if there are statistics out there to determine how many children who were conceived were intended to be created and how many were incidental, unintended. So I will look into that, see what I can find out. It is interesting to wonder what the birth rate would be if sex was not so desirable. But I'm thinking that um, nature has made it this way because it needs to be this way. There needs to be a certain number of children born in order for society to function well. And if sex was just functional, maybe there wouldn't be enough children born 
and sometimes we have problems. So nature has made sex desirable so that sufficient sex happen and sufficient children will be born. And it seems to suggest that um, many children who are born are not intended to be conceived. So I don't know if there are any statistics on that. I'll look at that as well. But it does seem that there's quite a bit of work to do.